What's happening, everybody? Steve Looney here from graphicdesignertips.com. This is episode number one of my new Adobe Illustrator CC tutorial series. Now, I did a Adobe Illustrator series years ago in CS3, and a lot of this stuff still does apply, but the program has evolved, it has changed, and I want you to obviously keep up current with all the new stuff and obviously all the basics too. So the it, this this whole series, you know, I got this idea based on inquiries uh, about basics about Adobe Illustrator, and you know what? We're going to talk about basics. We're going to talk about everything, but the basics and the stuff that you're going to use all the time in all your design layouts, because those are the things that are you're going to get hired for and that are going to help you make money. So. Uh, we can do this a couple of ways. Well, two ways, basically. We could either hit Command N, all right, or come up here to File New. Now, I'm just going to point this out in every single video. It's going to get a little redundant, but that's but you know that's the only way you're going to learn. You're going to see next to where we're going to go, you're going to see a Command N right there. That is telling you that's the keyboard command shortcut for this. So we're going to go up into New. Now we're going to have this window open, and it's going to say New Document on it. Okay, and the first thing you're going to do is obviously you're going to name your document. So let's call this new logo design. All right, uh, you can come up here and you can select a couple of preset profiles. So you could either do for print and you can ch check them out. You know, check out what each one is going to do. It's going to obviously change the specs below, but we're going to stick with print for right now. And I'm going to talk about artboards in another video, but basically we're going to stick to one artboard at the moment. And we're going to make it a letter size, which in uh, um, inches would be eight and a half by 11 inches. Uh, your units, you can pick a bunch of different units here. Um, but the only units that I ever use is inches and pixels. If, it, if I guess you're from Europe, you might um, be setting these up in millimeters or centimeters. I'm not sure which one, but I know everybody does things a touch different over there. Uh, anyway, so... We're going to stick with inches for right now, and we're going to set a bleed if something is going to bleed. So if this is going to be going out for print, and you know that that you're going to need a bleed on this because you're designing, and you're designing something that's going to go to the edge, you're going to have to set your bleed marks here. Now, what you're literally simply going to do is, if you see at the end where this is already grayed out, it's saying make all settings the same. You're just going to hit the top arrow, and you're going to see it go to 0.125, which is an eighth of an inch. All right, you can hit it again and you'll get a quarter of an inch. But me, I have many years in the printing industry. An eighth of an inch is fine with me. So the last thing we're going to do is in the advanced area, there are a couple of different things. Now, when you select these profiles, this is all going to change automatically. But you can change the color mode to CMYK or RGB. You can change the raster effects to 300, 150, or 72 pixels per inch. And their preview mode, I just usually leave on default. I never touch any of this. In fact, advanced, I never actually open that up. It's always just pretty much set. So now we're gonna hit okay, and now we have our new document. Okay, so now we have our document, and you're gonna notice there is a black outline box and a red outline. That black outline is your actual artboard, and that red outline is where your bleed is going to be extending to. That is showing you that's where the bleed is going to go to. So everything between the black and the red is eventually going to get cut off. But as you're designing these or this, you know, this bleed line could get in your way a little bit. So what you could do is you could hit command semicolon and turn it off and then hit command semicolon to turn it back on. Or you can come to view guides, hide guides. All right, and that's going to go for basically anything that has guides on it. If you have ruler ruler lines pulled out, um, you know, that's obviously going to turn off too. Uh, but it's a cool, remember, command semicolon just to turn it on and off just to, uh, you know, um, make it a little bit more cleaner while you're designing. So that's basically how you set up your document in Adobe Illustrator CC. Uh, any questions? Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you learned. Obviously, there's only one thing to learn in here. Uh, but hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my uh, my series. There's going to be a ton of videos in this one. So stay tuned. Comment, share, and like. Everybody have a great night. Peace.